Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm, and I have a rant to rant. Now, the reason I didn't do this rant for multiple reasons when after I heard about this piece of information is I could not make the video, because if I would have made the video, it would have sounded something like Ron White stand-up. It would have been three times worse than that. Probably a lot of stuff that I probably just shouldn't say, <laughs> you know. I mean, it was bad, guys. I mean, it was bad. Now, I'm going to quickly tell you what I'm talking about so you can stop looking at the computer screen going, huh? Like, two weeks ago, I think it was, there was a show I'd watch. Now, if anyone from my locals is watching this, they already know what I'm going to be talking about because I've already made a pretty big, a lot of points about this, and I'm still pissed about it. There is a show I like to watch. It's by Seth MacFarlane, so that narrows it down pretty quickly. And it is called Family Guy, and it has been on the air since 97. <laughs> and it's madly popular, and in my opinion, better than The Simpsons. I don't give a crap about The Simpsons. I've never found it funny. And it is now, well, it will be better than The Simpsons again once Brian comes back. Yes, I just said once when Brian comes back. So if you haven't... If you've been living under a rock and you don't watch television, the famous dog in, Brian, in Family Guy, Brian Griffin, was killed. And he was killed by getting run over by a car. And I wasn't going to watch that night. I, I was busy doing something. And all of a sudden, someone – I was just flipping through my timeline on Twitter and someone was like, rest in peace, Brian Griffin. And I'm like, what? And this was a real thing. Guys, do, 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 do. Let me show you something. I think it's fair to say that I'm a Family Guy fan, is it? I mean, I have every volume that there is to date. There's some more here on the couch. I just can't lift them up. I have all the Star Wars videos. I have all of Seth MacFarlane's top episode videos. I even have the abortion episode that they couldn't show on television DVD over there. I just grabbed enough to make my point here. I have been watching Family Guy forever. And it and my favorite character has always been Brian. Um, I never, like, really quickly, um, I never liked Peter. I don't like Lois. Chris is funny at times, Stewie is hilarious, Brian is hilarious, and, um, I can't remember her name. I think it's terrible. Meg, that's what it is. That's called sarcasm, by the way. I mean, no one, I mean, <laughs> ask most people who watch this, they watched it for either Stewie, Brian, or Quagmire is the main three that I've been getting back. I mean... I have I found some people who said they watch it for Peter because they find him funny. Personally, I find Peter kind of annoying. Um, I haven't found one person that said they watch it for Meg or Lois. I found a couple people that said Chris, but they. I was doing some research online and I found this thing where they were asking people who their favorite who their favorite character was, and it was Brian. And the, if you guys don't know, the guy who creates this, his name is Seth MacFarlane. And he does the voice for Brian Griffin, but he also does Peter and Stewie and a lot of other people in the show. But Brian, he does in his own voice. It is a way of him putting himself in the show. Um, and, um, you know, I always liked Brian because it seemed like he was the smartest one in the family, and that's what made it fun. You have a, you have a grown man who's a complete idiot. You have a mother who's a slut. You have a daughter who just shouldn't be alive you have a son who's dumber than a two dollar steak you have a baby that wants to take over the world kill his mother um you know the list goes on and on and then you have a dog that drinks smokes drives a car fucks hot girls makes a lot of jokes about politics i mean he was hilarious he was it was like what it was like reading the sunday funnies i mean i don't understand why you would kill your most popular character or one of the two. If you had to say what are the top two popular, it'd be Brian and Stewie. That would be like saying, okay, let's go back, remake the Star Wars movies. Luke Skywalker dies in the first 15 minutes. The whole series is about Princess Leia. All of a sudden, the series sucks. It would be like... 
it would be like trying to do Doctor House without House. It would be like, you know, it, you see my point here? It's like they had something really good, and it was kind of like Seth was just wanting to fuck with this. It's like, hey, I want to see what's going to happen if I kill off everyone's favorite animal. It pissed me off, guys. It took every ounce of strength I had not to just take all these, chunk them in the backyard, and light the sons of bitches on fire. I mean, I am still pissed. Guys, to that day, I have not watched. This is the first time I've actually looked at these. I have not touched. I have not read. I have changed my ringtones for people that I have Family Guy ringtones for. I literally... I, ha I have a shirt with Brian on it that I love very much. I haven't had the 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 stomach to wear it yet, guys. I was infuriated by this. Um, and it amazed me how, how many people were mad at him. I mean, there were people wishing death on him. It's like, well, I don't wish death on him, you know. Me, personally, I just wish something, you know, would smack him upside the head going, what was I thinking? Well, it turns out I was told by someone um, that he's supposedly going to come back to the show, and something like that tells me that he saw some of the feedback he was getting and was like, okay, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But this really, really pissed me off. And then the, they were like, what, well, why did she just kill Meg? No one liked her. And his reasoning and the writer's reasoning was, well, we figured it'd be too traumatic if we were going to kill off a kid. It's like, okay, you're a family guy. This is the show that has been canceled twice and then brought back. Since when do boundaries because you're afraid of pushing a, pushing it over the line ever come across your head these people you've made fun of abortion you've made fun of terry shibo and that whole bit was very distasteful you've you've you have a, you've shown us um just you've made a lot of things that were pushing the boundary between distasteful and funny and you're worried about how the world would react if you were going to kill off one of the kids it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, it, you know, so that excuse didn't work on me. It's like, okay, that that's bullshit. Move on. But, oh well, you know, I hear he's coming back. I will not watch Family Guy again until Brian's coming back. I don't care what you say about that. I just don't find the show funny without him. Um, and um, I know what some of you are going to say. Well, how do you know you don't like it if you haven't tried it with, since he left? Well, <laughs> I don't know, and I'm not going to find out. Um, because the whole reason I watched was Brian and Stewie. That was it. I actually wish, here, here's a picture of the two of them. I actually wish Seth would just take Stewie and Brian and give them their own cutoff like they did Cleveland. I mean, no offense, who the fuck like Cleveland? I mean, what'd they do? They decide we don't have enough shows about black people, so here we go, a black people cartoon. Now, I'm not racist. I'm not racist in any, any way. And you know what? I've watched the Cleveland show a time or two. It's not bad, but what would you rather see? A spinoff of Cleveland or a spinoff of Brian and Stewie? That's pretty. That's a pretty simple answer. So anyway, guys, in the comment section below, I would really like your feedback. Do you watch Family Guy? Do you like Family Guy? Um, if so, who's your favorite character? Were you infuriated when you heard that Brian died, or did you watch the episode? I've seen the clip of it. I haven't seen the full episode. I have heard that the Griffin family got another dog, and he's voiced by someone from The Sopranos, but I really... Don't even want to hear his voice. But anyway, guys, um, in the comment section below, please give me some feedback. I would love to hear what you have to say. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video for me, and I will see you later.